we will talk about mri elastography in this video first of all what is elastography it is a technique to measure stiffness of the tissues now in mri elastography we use mechanical waves which are of two types compression and shear waves here we use shear waves to quantify the stiffness of tissues it is mainly used in uh, liver elastography then uh, these two waves the main difference is between the motion of particles so the motion of particles will be along the propagation of the wave in compression wave whereas it will be perpendicular to the motion of propagation of the wave in shear waves so uh, there is a device which is called as active acoustic driver so this device it produces these shear waves and that is used to uh, quantify the stiffness Now this active driver, this is the device which produces vibrations. Okay, so this works something like a speaker. In a speaker, there is something called a voice coil. So when the current passes through a voice coil, it produces a magnetic field in this direction. Now that magnetic field, it will cause movement of this diaphragm by a certain force called as Lorentz force. So that's how it produces vibration of this diaphragm and that's how we hear sounds. So in a similar way, uh, these vibrations are produced by the active driver. And since there is magnetic field uh, production in this setup, so this has to be kept outside the MRI room. So now this device is kept outside the MRI room as we'll see later. Like this, the active dr driver which is producing the vibrations is kept outside the MRI room then via a tube these vibrations are carried to something called as a passive driver now this thing will be attached to the body of the patient now this has no active magnetic field so this can be kept in the mri room now this is how a passive driver should be attached over a, over the patient's body along the right lobe of the liver so that most of the waves can go into the liver so like this it is attached tightly over the abdomen and along the right side then we acquire images in the form of magnitude and phase images which undergo some post processing steps and they give us our main elastogram images which are which are the wave image and the color elastogram now over this color elastogram there's something called as a 95% confidence map which is overlapped over this color elastogram. So this map, what it does is basically it leaves out all the areas which will have less artifacts and basically the uh, liver parenchyma so that we can draw region of interest over this and quantify the liver stiffness. So this is how the images are acquired in our system. You should basically look out for these confidence map images so that you can draw ROI over this and we also have the wave images so you can assess the waves now how to obtain a good quality elastogram ideally the elastography should be performed around four to six hours of after four to six hours of fasting so what happens is that in the immediate postprandial period the blood flow via the portal vein to the liver increases so that can give us a false high stiffness value if we do it in immediate post prandial period so that is why fasting is ideal then the passive driver it should be attached tightly over the abdomen and along the right side so that the largest portion of the liver can be covered and then we should look out for something called as a signal void We'll see what this is later, but this is basically a distortion in the image at the point where the mechanical waves are applied applied at the patient's body. So basically, uh, normally the signal void should be present. And if this is not present, then that means that the elastogram is non-diagnostic. And we can see the shear waves propagating through the liver in the phase images.
so this is the function of uh, magnitude and phase images we should look out for these things in these images like in this example here this this distortion of the signal where the passive driver is applied that is called as the signal void and this is a phase image and you can see propagation of the waves through the liver parenchyma since there's so much of artifact here these areas are covered by the 95 percent confidence map and only this area where the propagation of the waves are proper this is left by this confidence map here we see an example so first we assess the magnitude then the phase images so here we see that there is no signal void here which which normally should be present so on the wave images there are no clear waves here and the entire thing is covered by the confidence map now when done correctly then there should be this signal void which you see here and you can see the waves propagating nicely through the liver in the phase images or the color elastogram and the liver parenchyma is left out by the confidence map now we'll see how to evaluate elastogram images so this is an example of a normal healthy liver so in a healthy liver the liver parenchyma is soft so when the parenchyma is soft the mechanical waves they will be distorted very quickly so in wave images we should see thin waves which are attenuated centrally this is the normal pattern of a healthy liver so we should have thin waves which attenuate centrally and on the color elastogram there should be a scale so according to this scale this bluer side is a lower stiffness so we have a blue elastogram in a normal healthy liver now here you can see that as the liver is become, becoming more fibrotic or more stiff uh, as you can see on the color elastogram the waves are becoming more thicker and they will not be attenuated centrally so in a fibrotic liver the waves will be thicker and they will not be attenuated centrally as compared to the normal liver parenchyma where we have thin waves which are attenuated centrally and then coming to what all things can lead to a low quality elastogram so first will be poor shear wave delivery like any active or passive driver related issues or any parenchymal causes like significant iron deposition so there will be susceptibility so because of that we have a low quality elastogram and of course motion artifacts now the quantity which we are trying to measure here uh, by mri elastography is liver stiffness measurement so this is done by using the elastogram with the 95% confidence map and we draw an roi it should be drawn over the liver parenchyma and we should leave the checkerboard areas we should try to avoid taking measurement from the dome of the liver because this region is more prone to artifacts because of diaphragm movement and air in the lungs you may sometimes get higher virtually higher values if you take are over here now wherever you are drawing roi you should also try to triangulate it with another actual image like your haste image or something so that you are sure that you are drawing the roi in the liver parenchyma suppose here like this this area is the gall bladder so we should try to avoid drawing roi here so similarly we should draw at least four ROIs at four different different levels uh, similarly avoiding the areas artifactual areas like this was the call bladder and this was outside the liver so we have excluded these areas and in these two images all these area were non artifactual and this was in the liver parenchyma so we have drawn four ROIs and then now we will take an average of these four values this is the formula to measure liver stiffness 
we should multiply multiply area of each ROI to the mean uh, liver stiffness divided by sum of the area of uh, all four ROIs. And this is the grading of the liver stiffness. Above 5 kilopascal is considered as stage 4 fibrosis. This article you can refer to if you want to read more about this.